Hello my soccer universe. Uh, in my previous Champions League video on reviewing the matches of this week, which were all not that great, at the very end I was talking a little bit about the Champions League reform and also that, you know, things need to be done and I thought, you know, I should not put it out there that things should change, but maybe also make some suggestion of how things can change. I decided to wear for this video the Lyon jersey because uh, it was mentioned in the meeting that the changes or the reform that is uh, proposed is for the teams like a Lyon, like a Ajax, like a Porto, you know, the teams that kick out Juventus. And I'm uh, not so sure about that, but you know, let's talk quickly about the reform, why I think it's a madness in a way. What would be better solutions? That's or what I would change to make the Champions League a little bit more exciting. Um, and I know I am not coming from the point that we need to um, avoid a Super League. But, you know, uh, let's maybe we we'll can address the two. So the proposed model by uh, Agnelli and he immediately blamed Edwin van der Sar is to add four more teams which, of course, we need to discuss how it is, will, will it be distributed. Um, will it be distributed to the big nations or will it go to the smaller nations, the next in lines? And kind of he hinted at it, although I think the European club administration would like to have it uh, given to teams to have merit in the competition, meaning if your Uniteds and your Milans do not qualify for the Champions League, ah, here you get into the competition based on merit. As much as I'm a Milan fan, and this is music to my ears to go back like that to the Champions League. I think it is highly unfair and should, not even, should be a non-starter. Unfortunately, it is on the table, but this should be a non-starter. Giving teams uh, based on merit some access to the Champions League is crazy. Uh, what will this mean? Yeah, Real Madrid, Milan, Manchester United, Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Barcelona, Ajax, I think. The only teams that would deserve this is if you have this friggin' patch, patch of honor here. Okay, maybe you should be in the competition. I think it's a non-starter. If you're not good, you're going to have to qualify for, for a league. You should not be considered for the Champions League. Saying that. So I think it is much better if you give, let's say, a league uh, an additional spot and then, you know, the next few, few leagues. Although uh, the way the signing goes, it will now go to Russia. And Russia has been so abysmal. And there's also, also some, 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 some money in there. So, yeah. Um, I would love if there would go like an additional spot for the Eredivisie, uh, maybe, you know, you know, but it also should be baby, baby is married, the Russians have that. So, um, based on merit, take the five year ra ra rank and distribute those four places, uh, to the leagues that are be beyond, uh, below the top four. So give France a fixed third spot, give the, uh, Dutch league and uh, another one, uh, you know, whoever is in the next ranking. I think I can live with it, and the, and the Russian su Super League will fall into that as well. I would vouch for that. I think it will make for a, uh, a more interesting competition. And by the way, I think most people, especially young ones, don't realize how big of a club Ajax is. I read a tweet yes, yesterday and I want to re reiterate that. Ajax, on a historic level, is a team that is surpassed in Germany only by Bayern Munich. No other team in Germany has the same cloud as Ajax. In France, there is no team that has the same cloud as Ajax. In England, I would argue only Manchester United and Liverpool can be considered bigger than Ajax. In Italy, it is Milan, it is Juventus, maybe Inter. In Spain, it's the top two. Everyone else is a smaller team than Ajax. Ajax is a humongous, important uh, player in the development of what is modern soccer. I think Ajax is one of those, those teams that should be held in high regard. And I understand if you're a Dutch fan, uh, this is the same thing as me talking about Rapid, the, most, uh, uh, the, 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 the biggest team you're probably annoyed by Ajax. But in a historical context, uh, Ajax is a giant of the Euro European game and it always pains me to uh, see them, uh, you know, the way the Champions League is now, we have the top four leagues and maybe France is clawing themselves on, onto it, but the rest is falling off. And the problem is that uh, the Champions League is not getting better uh, by 
admitting teams from the lower leagues because you see the gulf in quality. Which is a whole other issue that I don't want to add, uh, address. So that's why I say I think if you add the four more teams, it should go to the next one so that maybe other teams could, um, it could form a more solid base. But I think that the Swiss system is an absolute crazy idea. Uh, to have a league table and then the draw will be who you will play and so on. And nah, nah. I mean, uh, you basically would have to tier it. Uh, and, you know, tier one plays against the other. This is crazy. I mean, you play 10 games and you have a league table. Okay, uh, 24 teams will go into the next round, which there will be around, um, you know, the top eight are in a round, round 16. You have a round, round 32. You increase the amount of games crazily. The last time that happened, the last time that happened was uh, around the turn of the century with the second group stage, which I thought was not a bad idea per se, but the second group stage always lacked a little bit of punch. Um, and the other trouble with that is that the games came, became so many that suddenly the European teams were doing really, really bad, the big nations, really bad at the World Cup and uh, at the Euros. These were exactly the years, 2002 and 2004, with all the upsets. So uh, quickly they got rid of that and uh, uh, freed some uh, space, uh, you know, got, got rid of four games. I think that the mentioning of some, uh, lowering the teams in a league, I think 20 is too much. I think 18 is the absolute maximum. I think a 16 team uh, top flight might be the optimum. However, I understand money. You know, the problem is it's not one unified family. It's all slight com um, smaller entities that try to fight for it. So, yeah. What would I suggest as a change for the Champions League? I actually would keep the format the same, maybe, and I know this is anathema, but I would redistribute, I would really give uh, the next to the number five and number, number six, put another fixed uh, spot and take it away from this qualifying playoff. <sighs> because honestly, I am so happy if I see a Ferenc Varos or a Dinamo Kiev or so on um, qualifying for the Champions League. But how much do they add? Or mid -Yuland? How much do, do they add to the competition? No. The f group stage is a foregone conclusion. Um, even if you don't do that and keep it a format, I think the group stage should be uh, modeled to have more a knockout format. I said it in previous video almost two years ago. I think to get the points in the group stage, you should play like you do in the middle round, round three and four, you should play the same opponent within uh, two weeks of each other and then give the points based on the, res uh, the aggregate result. Yes, this might eliminate some um, results earlier, make it unnecessary, but uh, you still have kind of this knockout character in there. So let's say, um, let's take the, the Atalanta, Liverpool, Ajax group. So you have on the, on, on the first match day, you have uh, Liverpool play against Ajax and Atalanta against Midtjylland and in the next you have the reverse fixtures and then take the aggregate score. If it is, uh, if you win on aggregate you get the three points. If it is a draw you might do a penalty shooter right there to, to, to decide who gets the bonus point or even away goals. I think this could work just fine. Yes, it will maybe increase uh, if there was a blowout in the first game, but then you should make in such a way that always the lower seed should play the home game first. And that actually might increase a little bit the excitement in the Champions League and the group groups if anyway many games in the foreground conclusion. So I think that might be some way of addressing this. Uh, how the points are allocated, I think I would go really like in a no, no archer type, but, but you can say, okay, if there's a home win, there's a way win, you get one point and then the over winner gets an additional point. Could work as well. And then you take the aggregate score to for your goal diff, the, the, the difference, but should always the head to head. That should be preserved. I am very much for that model. I really think this would uh, increase interest in the competition quite by a lot. So this is my first suggestion. Um, my first real su suggestion, I mean, with, with the really redistributing, I am not super sold on it, but you know, I could see. The second one is get rid of this crazy seeding where you have uh, the champions from each country, from, from the top six countries in the first pot. 
that makes no sense. Zenny St. Petersburg was the number one seed. They finished bottom of the group. Make the seeding at least at the strongest teams meet. Yes, what do you do with the seeding? You get maybe a few more exciting groups like this Liverpool, Ajax, Atalanta group. But it is not really a fair thing. Next up, uh, and this is a, a little bit of a tougher pill to swallow uh, in, in, in a way, but something needs to be done about the round of 16. Play it in one leg. Make it a one-off. Really make it a one-off of, of time. We don't need those return legs. Uh, the most of them are meaningless. Make it a one-off. Heck, make the entire tournament a one-off. Make the entire tournament a one-off, and I would even say go a little bit more down the World Cup cup route. However, you're placed in a group that determines on how you will play next. Although, I don't know, I like the draws, but you have at least a little bit of certainty there could be interesting. So yeah, but I think the biggest thing for the group groups there needs to be some excitement added. I don't want to add more teams. Um, and you know, I actually like the structure with the um, going, you know, we have now the three competitions and there's some, I actually would love it if um, you could also, also be a promotion for your group win in the Europa League that you can get promoted into the Champions League. And then you play a round of uh, 32 against the second place teams and the group winners are uh, already in the round of 16. That would add more games, would add more excitement. So another suggestion there. Don't make it only one way street, only down, down, down. Give the Europa League teams, if you're group winning the Euro Europa League, you go into the Champions League round of 32. I think sounds fair. To me, sounds fair because you give the Europa League a little bit more added spice there as well in that group stage. Uh, I know uh, at the moment there are 12 groups, but you know with eight groups, I think that becomes uh, doable. And as I said, single leg games, uh, especially in uh, those early matchups, I would make it only one leg and then you have. And I think we should think maybe about the second group stage again, because that's a more reasonable thing. If the leagues can reduce and you have a second group stage, maybe. Maybe, but I, I honestly, I think the way I see it, group stage, make it in this knockout format. You play the same opponent within two weeks, as it's it's usually so match day one and two, same opponents. Match day uh, three and four, same opponent. Five and six, same opponents. And then uh, we we can discuss how we distribute the points. But I actually would go uh, who wins it on aggregate, and then maybe a little penalty shootout for some extra excitement. Then uh, make the round, then you can make a single leg round of thir th 32 with the second place teams from the Champions League facing the group winners from the Europa League. And then the winners go on to play a single tie at the group winner. I think that would add a little bit more excitement. And then you can play core quarterfinal in two legs and so on and, and, and so on. I think this would be more exciting than what is proposed at the moment. Adds a few more games and gives a little bit more uh, space to teams. And then the last thing I would like to do is, um, I, love, I love the away goals rule, I really do. However, in overtime, you hand too much advantage, I personally think, to the team that actually plays away from home. Um, and therefore I would get rid of the away goals rule in those last 30 minutes. So those are my suggestions. I would love to hear what you think, how the Champions League could be more, be made more exciting. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!